Breast cancer is something women think they know a lot about, but there is a deadly form of breast cancer. It is rare, fast moving, and could actually kill you within just months. The diagnosis is difficult because the symptoms are different from the typical breast cancer we've all been warned about. KPSB Local 2's Stella Inger live in studio this afternoon to tell us about this cancer and what every woman needs to know. Chris Brooke, it's called inflammatory breast cancer, or IBC. And while it is rare, the silent killer has seen an increase over the past decade. Now we're going to show you an artist's rendering of a female breast to help you identify some of the symptoms of this deadly disease. This is what an inflammatory breast can look like. A rash appears on a breast, it becomes enlarged, and the nipple inverts. Classic IBC symptoms. It's rare, but the most aggressive type of breast cancer. Unfortunately, it's the type of cancer that grows rapidly. As I say, it multiplies and divides. It just spreads locally first, and then it can go through the bloodstream and spread through the body liver, bone, brain, whatever. Dr. Philip Dreisbach, a board-certified oncologist with Eisenhower Medical Center, says most physicians have heard of IBC in medical school, but many have never seen a case. Most women don't even know what it is. Have you heard of inflammatory breast cancer? No. Not inflammatory? Not at all? No. Is it something that I should be concerned about? I have no idea what it is. Inflammatory breast cancer? No. No. At this shopping plaza in Palm Desert, we stopped a dozen women. Only one knew what we were talking about. Have you heard of inflammatory breast cancer? Yes, I have. We have all been taught the same thing when it comes to breast cancer. Look for lumps and get mammograms. But when it comes to IBC, doctors say forget all of that. Not even a mammogram can detect inflammatory breast cancer. That's because it invades and hides in the ducts and tissues in the breast and doesn't form a lump. But it does form a rash that looks like a bug bite. Because it's a rash, many people think it's just a minor thing and they'll sometimes put it off weeks or even sometimes months. It's only when perhaps you start getting a um, breakdown of the skin that they'll even go into their doctor. IBC accounts for 1 to 3 percent of all breast cancers in the U.S. It tends to occur in younger women. It can even strike girls barely past puberty. And African-American women appear to be at higher risk of IBC than white women. On average, only 25 to 50 percent of women will survive five years with IBC. But those numbers are improving with aggressive treatment and awareness, such as awareness by the American Cancer Society. Still, IBC is often misdiagnosed because doctors often don't know how to identify the signs. The most important message is always be aware of your breasts. If you have any of those symptoms, then be sure to see your doctor. If a, any medical problem doesn't go away and the doctor doesn't know what it is, never harms, the, harms anything to get a second opinion. I went to the doctor and I said, look at me. Is this normal? She says, you have a cyst. I'm telling you, you do not have cancer. All right, we may have had some mic problems there on what Stella was saying. Join us tonight at 11. You're going to hear of a uh, cancer survivor with that particular type of cancer. That's right here tonight, Nightside at 11. Welcome back. It's a different type of breast cancer that comprises less than 4% of all breast cancer cases, yet it's the most aggressive and many doctors don't really even think to look for it. KPSB Local 2 Stella Inger is live in studio to tell us about the silent killer called inflammatory breast cancer. Stella? Brooke, Chris, most women know when it comes to breast cancer, it's important to look for a lump. But the signs of inflammatory breast cancer, or IBC, are so different, many are often misdiagnosed. Blessed is a great word because I feel like I have a second chance at life. By looking at Kamal McDowell, you'd never be able to tell that just three years ago she was battling inflammatory breast cancer, a rare and aggressive disease that could kill in just months. The tenderness was just beyond belief. On top of the fact that my skin um, with inflammatory breast cancer, it takes on an orange pill look. So it's very dimply. And I thought, wow, that's very interesting. It's, and one was doing it while the other one was not. Her breast stayed that way for seven months and her symptoms intensified. Her nipple began to invert, but her doctor didn't know what was going on. Yet her persistence saved her life. At 29, she was finally diagnosed with stage four inflammatory breast cancer. Instinctively, I knew there was something something wrong and what was told to me was not correct. 
And I knew that, and that's what made me continue to push and push. Even though I didn't know medical terminology, they were talking over my head, they showed me these films, I didn't know how to read the films, it didn't matter, it still wasn't enough. I knew there was something wrong. When McDowell began her treatment, she knew she was in for a tough battle. She had a 5% chance of survival. Like many women, McDowell had heard of breast cancer, but didn't know there was more than one type. Breast cancer that shows up without a lump, but starts off with what looks like a bug bite and can't be detected by a mammogram. Shirley Mordaunt won't forget the days she spent with her daughter at the hospital. Just to see her go through the suffering, if I could have taken her place any, at any moment, I would have done it. I would have done it. The treatment process is very, very, very aggressive compared to traditional breast cancer to the point where I was bedridden in my entire chemo process. Inflammatory breast cancer represents up to 3% of breast cancer cases in the U.S. It typically strikes younger women and African-American women and is often misdiagnosed as an infection and treated with antibiotics. To raise awareness about the rare disease, McDowell has formed a foundation. It's a matter of life and death. It literally is a matter of life and death, and to me, because I was allowed to live, to tell the story, then I will do just that as much as I can, whenever I can. Now, the best way to detect inflammatory breast cancer is, of course, knowing the warning signs. Coming up tomorrow morning at 6.45, I'll highlight the most obvious symptoms and tell you just how inflammatory breast cancer can easily be detected since mammograms are not helpful. Live in studio, Stella Inger, KPSP, Local 2 News. All right, Stella, thank you. Most women know what to look for when it comes to breast cancer, but there is a rare form of breast cancer that is being overlooked by doctors and patients. It is called inflammatory breast cancer, and it is the most aggressive type of cancer that spreads quickly. KPSP Local 2 Stella Inger tells us the symptoms every woman needs to know. How? You know, how did I get this type of cancer? That's the question Koma McDowell kept asking herself over and over again after she was diagnosed with inflammatory breast cancer three years ago, a rare disease that only accounts for 1 to 3 percent of all breast cancers in the U.S. and is considered to be a silent killer. The silent part of it, being a silent killer, is the fact that because physicians and the public are unaware of the symptoms, that's what makes it a silent killer because technically all of the symptoms are screaming at you loud and clear. For seven months, McDowell didn't know what was wrong with her. Neither did her doctor. Because inflammatory breast cancer is so rare, can't be detected by a mammogram, doesn't show up with a lump, but appears as a bug bite, it's often misdiagnosed and treated with antibiotics. Dr. Philip Dreisbach with Eisenhower Medical Center, who did not treat McDowell, explains why. Inflammatory breast cancer is a very difficult disease. It is the type of cancer that can occur in people and they don't really realize it. They think it's just a rash on their breast. For that reason, we often get the patients when it's already spread locally in the breast and sometimes in other areas of the body. There are many obvious signs women need to pay attention to when it comes to inflammatory breast cancer. The signs include redness, warmth, and swelling. The breast may also become discolored or dimpled like an orange peel, and it usually feels heavy and tender to the touch. One of the most obvious symptoms would be your nipple inverting. That's never okay for your nipple to invert. Statistics show inflammatory breast cancer mainly strikes young women and African American women. Doctors say on average only 25 to 50 percent of women will survive five years with inflammatory breast cancer. But those numbers are improving. We have wonderful new treatments that can treat these people if we catch it reasonably early. Even if caught late, we can get good remissions and patients can live a lot longer and live a lot better. Blessed is a great word because I feel like I have a second chance at life. I'm in my third year of survival. I'm still within that five year span, but I'm doing much better than a lot of people diagnosed with inflammatory breast cancer statistically. Doctors say the best way to detect inflammatory breast cancer is either with an MRI or a biopsy, and of course, knowing what the signs are. For more information on this rare form of cancer, log on to our website, kpsplocal2.com. In studio, Stella Inger, KPSP Local 2 News.